beautiful costume, very stunning costume, probably not the most comfortable thing in the world. Uh, what do you mean by that? I, that um, well, <laughs> scaly aquamarine condom I had to wear. <laughs> Just as is apparent with her level of substance use, the trail violence never seems to come to an end, and the actress has been busted time and time again for showing signs of aggression. Well, something pretty compelling has now come up on how she acts with her employees in public, and let me just say that it's almost as if things couldn't possibly be worse than this for her. I'm sure you want to know more about this recent update about the actress, so stay tuned till the end to get the full gist. I mean, after being caught so blatantly in a lie, you would think that these are the limits of this actress, but it's been the opposite since the trial came to an end, especially considering the major influx of news that have been coming out about her true color, one of which has now made it to the public, and this might just be the confirmation everyone needed to know how Amber really is behind the big screens. In general, you would agree with me that people act a certain way when they know cameras are watching and when the cameras are off. It's a completely different story. Well, Amber Heard has just shown us what she's typically like when the cameras are not watching, except that in this case, the cameras were actually watching, she just didn't know, and boy did it catch her in a bad position. So, a couple of days ago, a video started to trend on social media and among the other factors that were responsible for it trending was the fact that Amber was in it. But what she was doing is what takes the major credit for the video going viral, as the actress was caught littering. Now, for any regular person, this might not have been considered that huge of a deal, but from the video, you could tell that she was probably on something illicit. And given everything that was exposed about her drug use in the trial, it's not unlikely that it was the case. However, during the court proceedings, the actress actually denied that she ever took illicit drugs and she did so on multiple occasions. And this was the prevailing narrative until someone that actually knew her from way back came forward to talk about her past. And this person was Stephen Crowley. Crowley and her go way back, as the pair starred together in the movie Never Back down, which was released in 2008, so you could have an idea of just how far back they go. And he has stated that he actually saw her doing some specific drugs back then, which pretty much explains that she was probably on drugs in that video. In an interview with Andy Senor, Crowley said, Never Back Down was my first kind of role in doing something big on that scale and we were all young and we thought like we're gonna be stars. He then added, I was at her place the first time we hung out and she is in the kitchen and she goes you party. And I'm like oh yeah, I party and she whips out some coca colas and starts doing it. I mean, if someone is known by the public to have both a drinking and a drug problem, then this type of behavior shouldn't be too surprising. However, for many people on the internet, it was a pretty big deal and they did not hesitate to talk about it. One user wrote, A H is so high on something. Every one of these women knows what kind of a person she is. They know she's not in dirt. This was after she was supposedly hit in the eye. One of these women is Melanie Inglesis. She knows H is a drunken hoaxer. It's not cute. Well, we can't exactly say this is the first time it has come up that her claims have been hoaxes. But to some other people, she's a lot more than just that. Like this user who wrote, I worked as a nurse in a psychiatric intensive care unit for over 19 years. Her behavior in this footage is that of a calm ITU psychiatric patient. Looks like some other people feel pretty strongly about her mental state, and considering all things that have led to this point, I can't exactly blame them. Anyway, remember that these are based on research and theories and should be considered as such. That's it for now guys, I'll see you on the next one.